contrary to what his name suggests, he does keep himself covered. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Hot Toys Justice League, The Flash. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front, we have a nice big image there of The Flash, Justice League of The Flash. On this side of the box, we have The Flash. On the other side of the box, we have The Flash. On top of the box, The Flash. On the bottom of the box, Justice League. On the back of the box, you can't save the world alone. Things and stuff, stuff and things. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And we remove the slip cover. And you have the big old window box right there. Justice League logo, the flash, the flash. And on the back, you have the flash symbol and the credits for all the people responsible for the production of this figure. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have The Flash as he appeared in the Justice League movie. And let's get in close here so we can take a look at his chest. That's the noggin. There it is. You can see it's a pretty good likeness to Ezra Miller. As much of his face as we can see anyway. I think it's a pretty good likeness. As always with Hot Toys figures, the eyes are just creepy how alive they look it's always just kind of creepy but you can see the helmet is very nicely detailed you got some nice gold in there uh, the helmet does have as you can see in there got some scuffs going on with some nice attention to detail there in the back of the helmet again very nicely detailed looks quite good moving down the rest of the suits the lightning bolt symbol right there, done in a nice gold, with kind of a dark silver behind it. They do have these kind of like wires here on the shoulders, right here on either side. The rest of them are just molded on, but still. It's a nice look. I do quite like the, uh, the suit design for Flash. I thought it looked kind of cool. I personally was a fan of this suit. I thought it looked quite, quite cool. But you got some gold there on the forearms, gold around the waist. Oh no. I do quite like the suit design. It's got his little knee pads going on there. Got some more gold there. His shoes, his running shoes with the gold lightning bolt. And even has lightning bolts on the soles of the shoes as well, which is pretty cool. And moving up the back. You can kind of see a little suit there. The flash booty. Oh no, really cool suit design, in my opinion, anyway. Now, articulation-wise, um, this figure is weird. This is the first time that I have had a Hot Toys figure that has done this. I don't know if there are other figures that have done this, but this is the first Hot Toys that I know of that's done this. Um, his head is not connected via the standard ball joint like most Hot Toys figures. His head is on with a magnet. His head is just magneted on. So, very strange. Wasn't expecting that, but okay, sure. Why not? Sure, okay. Um, and it is a strong magnet too, like it says it's not gonna, you have to kind of be violent about it to actually get his head to kind of pop off his body there. So it, it holds on very securely anyway, for it just being on a magnet, but yes, the head can pretty much do whatever you want it to do since it is just on a magnet, there are no real restrictions, you can have him looking all the way up, do total squirrel, do that, and uh, this section back here of the helmet is on a rubber piece so this will flex back to make room for any upward head movement, which is nice. You can look down, head obviously can do a full 360. Uh, the neck joint itself can move forward and back a little bit, can move side to side a little bit. Uh, the arms can move forward about this far, it's about, that's as far as the instructions tell you to push the arms, so you don't, you know, stretch the actual suit itself. Back, you can go back about that far. Outward movement, you can go out not that far, you do have bicep rotation, you have a double jointed elbow, so you get some good range of movement there. Your wrists can rotate, and they're also on the hinge, depending on how you how you have that oriented. I can go pretty much any direction you want. You just have a little bit of waist rotation, not too much. Bit of an ab crunch as well. Legs can go forward, about that far, back, about that far, outward. If you move this out of the way here, that will flex 
not working get that far we do have flat rotation in there double jointed knee so you have nice range of movement there and the feet they can move up they can move down you have tiltage as well as rotation and also an extra bit of articulation in the shoulders that i forgot to mention is you do have a joint which allows the shoulder to move forward and back there so you can kind of get his arms in front of him so there you go so now let's run through the accessories, no pun intended, not, not this time anyway. Uh, we do get the display base, which is quite cool. It looks like the uh, kind of loading uh, area, the loading ramp of uh, Batman's aircraft there, which is quite cool. You got Justice League plate right there. And you have the nameplate right there, the flash. And pretty cool. Pretty cool display base there. And we can take flash. And just plop him down, and it has the adjustable little cradle there that nestles him ever so gently in his nether region. And there you go, you have Flash on the base. As far as other accessories go, you do have optional hands. You get a pair of judo chop hands. Yaw, 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 yaw. These are more for <laughs> these are more for running poses, but they just still look like karate chopping hands. But hey, hey, your toy, you can do what you want with them. Still nicely done. Same amount of a detail and nice paint work so you get two of those you do also get two closed hands which do serve another purpose as well and you can see those are nicely done you get this hand right here with the two finger point going on so you have that and you have just a single pointing finger here and i guess that's to recreate the part in the movie where he just kind of taps Wonder Woman's sword to her when she's falling, just like, bing, yeah. So, you can recreate that if you want to. Of course, you get a backup pair of wrist pegs, which is always appreciated. And you get a batarang. Can I keep this? Let's see. Done in a gunmetal gray. And the batarang is meant to be held in these hands right here. You can see the thumb has a little groove there and the batarang fits perfectly in there. You can put it in either hand if you want to. So you can hold Batman's batarang if you wish. And the last accessories that are included are some effects parts. You get some little electric -y lightning effects parts here done in a transclearance blue. They are flexible. And you get these two and you also get these two right here. So you get four total. And um the instructions don't tell you clearly exactly how to put these on him. They just have a picture with them on. And it's just like, put them here. I don't know. Um, I'm guessing because you can, the, the shoulder pads, as you can see, you can pop off. They just uh, they just stay on there with Velcro. So you can just, oops, might go this way. So you can pop the shoulder pads off. And also the... Uh, the armor on his thigh also are just held on with Velcro as well, so you can take these completely off if you want to. And I think maybe it's a case of you're supposed to kind of like tuck these effects parts like underneath them somehow? But I mean, you can do that without using the Velcro, but... Again, the instruction is not super clear about it, so I'm just going to kind of do it the best way I can. So I'm just going to kind of tuck these under here like that. But basically you kind of get the gist of what's supposed to happen here. And then we come down to the legs and it's supposed to kind of like, I don't know, like wrap around his legs or something. Again, I'm not 100% sure, but you know, hey, do it however you want. It's your toy, display it however you wish. I'm just kind of giving you the gist of it here. Since I'm not 100% sure exactly how you're supposed to secure these on. Like I said, it might just be a case of like tucking it under the armor there and then just kind of velcroing it back on, but you know, you can get the idea anyway. And you can see him there with all the lightning and whatnot, so you can go zoom and zoom and zoom and do all kinds of that, do all kinds of zooming, all kinds of flashy, flashy zooming. So now for comparison, let's bring in his fellow Justice League members. Here we have the Man of Bats. Here we have the Man of Super. And last but certainly not least, the Woman of Wonder. There we have our Justice League so far, and they look pretty good together, I must say. 
So there you have the Flash. Um, nicely done figure. Really, really like it. Um, hopefully, uh, Cyborg and Aquaman will be coming out soon so I can finally have my Justice League on my shelf. But as far as Flash goes, really well done. Super detailed. Just an all-around really, really well done figure. As Hot Toys tends to do. So there you go. And now if you would like this or any other Hot Toys figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Hot Toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also a link in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Hot Toys at Justice League, The Flash. And this is M Ghost saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Home in your face. Hello, Mr. Batman, sir. What are you doing here, Speedy McRunfeet? Speedy McRunfeet? Anyway, I'm, I'm here to help. Huh. I don't need your help. I'm the world's greatest hero. Nothing gets by me. Nothing. Well, if that were true, you would have seen me take your batarang. I will kill you. Gotta catch me first. Real heroes don't do cardio. They just pick up heavy things.